The AI world is growing tremendously. Now, we have new AI coding agents released on GitHub. Right now, we have one for troubleshooting error codes and another for creating web UI from screenshots, and they're both open source. So let's check them out. The first one we're going to look at is the SWE agents. Now, this is a really cool AI software engineer that uses GPT-4 as the backbone for the large language models running as agents behind everything operating in this system. Basically, it outperforms current approaches using RAG with Claude 3 and 2 and other RAG that utilize GPT-4. They claim it resolves over 12% more coding issues by using these AI agents. This is called the Autonomous Coding Interface, or ACI for short. They claim this ACI agent repository makes it easy to iterate on this Autonomous Coding Interface, essentially using it for troubleshooting any GitHub issues within projects you may have. Now for the setup, we're going to install Docker, run the command prompt, and you'll be ready to set it up on your local machine. But they also have demos on their official website. I'll link that in the description so you can try it out first before installing locally. They have issues linked up from the GitHub page to this AI agent, and they pull these requests. This is actually from real live issue requests on github.com where the coding has issues. So let's try out one of their examples here. Below that, they have step-by-step -step instructions. You can press next step and it will allow the AI to process each step by troubleshooting the error coding in this Python code. There are a total of 38 steps separated individually. You'll see the progress log on the left side showing how the AI is doing the debugging for this Python code, how it will take the next step to fix issues, duplicating files called repobuck.py, trying to simulate the same errors that users have on github.com. And this is really amazing. It's just simulating the same logic as this Python code virtually in sandbox environments it will trace down each line of error code. If there are any issues raised during runtime, it will identify them. For example, here we have data frames, and it will test what the data types are within the upper and lower bounds of the data in this data set. It will walk through each step, showing you the progress in the left side file log. And basically, there aren't really any configurations or buttons to click once it's running. It's an entirely autonomous AI agent. So once you plug this into your GitHub project for any file issues, it will troubleshoot like an automated technical support, simulating and running the code. And then after all that, we get the final debugging output. And it looks like after testing everything, it resolved the issues and generated corrections to this Python code here. So that's pretty cool. AI agents using autonomous agents connected with GPT-4 as the backbone to just resolve any of your coding issues. They call this the Autonomous Coding Interface or ACI for their project term. So you can try the first link on the GitHub page for the demos. Once you like it, just scroll down to the setup section, follow the installation guide and run it locally on your matchness. But then you'll need an OpenAI API key in order to run that on your own local machine or server. So I'd recommend trying it out first. That's the first one, the SWE agent. Then we have the second tool called OpenUI. So basically this uses large language models and vision models to detect what you have on screen and regenerate a similar UI interface for a website instantly creating a website interface for you. You can configure the colors for that real-time HTML generation too. And the beauty of this is that while we previously had similar paid software that did this, OpenUI is now an open source project. You can try their live demo, they have the link there. And they're also able to connect with models like OpenAI's open source Llama. Just plug in your Llama instance and any coding large language model and you're ready to go. Let's try the live demo first. In this live demo, it has a very simple intuitive UI with big buttons to click. At the top, 
you have a large area where you just drag and drop a screenshot of the UI design. So that will be uploading an image screenshot of the UI. Then you're ready to give some prompt comments, asking the AI agent to generate a similar user interface for your web page. So in this example, I'm going to use Microsoft's website main page. Imagine you have a corporate website and want to redesign or rebuild your homepage interface. What you do is type something like homepage of a tech company in the text prompt box. It will then generate a layout similar to the uploaded image you referenced, simulating that website layout in real time by generating the HTML code below. We can download that for later use to enhance the HTML layout further. And they also have real-time previewing for PC, tablet, and mobile device dimensions. So what you can do here is use this as a prototype of the HTML page. Let's see if I can change the background image to a computer image or something like that. Let me try updating the text prompt to see if it can reflect that change. Hmm, it doesn't look like they can generate an image and paste it as the background. Well, that makes sense, as they're using large language models as the backbone, not diffusion models, for image generation. But here's the Microsoft homepage, and this is a cap screen of the generated HTML, which looks pretty close to the real website. Let's try another example, like say we want to create a social media profile page template. Previously, we had other applications that could generate Instagram profile pages and such. But right here at the bottom, they have some handy command prompts. With these text prompts, you can quickly generate things like email sign-up forms, login components, or navbars for your website, some quick HTML building blocks. So let's try prompting for a social media profile page and see what it generates. For example, I have this Instagram profile page for The Rock, who's one of the coolest guys on IG. We're going to use this screenshot layout as a reference to generate an HTML template for a social media profile page. And there it goes, generating it now. Wow, it's rendering that pretty quickly. Creating all the text buttons, profile pictures, proper dimensions, links, and bio description in real time. It even detected the text font style from my input image and recreated a similar look. And it seems to understand that my feed images below the profile header are individual 300x300px images that can scroll endlessly. This open UI tool looks very promising, based on a relatively small language model like Code Llama or other coding enabled LLMs using Olama. Down below, it shows how to configure connecting to your own locally hosted Olama instance. So once you have Olama running in a command prompt, you can choose the server connection here. At the top settings accessed by the gear icon, you can pop open these settings and enter your local Olama host information. So you have the flexibility to use alternative large language models beyond just GPT-3 or GPT-4. In here, you can also toggle the background between light and dark mode for the UI. That way, you can preview how the generated HTML would look on a dark or light background. So, this seems like a pretty intuitive tool for website designers who want to quickly generate some basic HTML templates to build out further. Of course, you couldn't just take this raw output to production, but it's a great starting point. Well, that's the open UI tool. And that's it for today's review of these new AI tools. I'll see you all in the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.